What's up, guys, and welcome back to another uh, Fortnite Save the World. Today, the um, today another primal weapon dropped, the copper primal rifle. I have yet to test it. Actually, I want to buy this on. I haven't yet to. I haven't yet to test it yet. Um, I did uh, put some perks on it that I thought were good, so I'm gonna go to that. And it's down here because I don't have it favorited. <laughs> but here it is. So obviously they're on nature, unfortunately. I wish you could change it. They might make it so you can change it later on. But uh, yeah, nature damage with 20% damage. We got crit damage, damage, crit rating, and stun to staggered frozen. Since they all tend to have. Um, They'll tend to have a decent impact. This one especially is a decent impact the pistol. Uh, but today our focus is the rifle. I kept the core perk or the last perk in every gun. Usually one that you can only change and has no rarity. Not only change, but I mean the one that requires a different sort of uh, material to change. I guess you can say the core, the core re-perk. Uh, I looked at the same because I wasn't sure what would be better for this gun. Uh, the fire rate is 30. It's got a magazine. Oh, sorry, magazine is fire rate is 30. If the magazine is 30, this fire rate is 5.8. So we will have to craft one and then put it in our inventory as well. And on top of that, we're going to have to set up a uh put in the first one we're gonna set up a it's sort of uh like crit rifle build and i'll show you how to build that right now in a second usually for my main or my commander i will go for either someone who has increased assault damage or an increased damage to assault rifles like, I mean, this one does um, crit damage. And there's another character that does uh, just damage in general. This character, if you can see, uh, let me see, I this character, I'm going to show you. This character right here, assault damage. So if you have her as your main, it increased, you know, assault and SMG damage by 50. So you could have her in your main. Not having her in your main probably give you... Um, probably just give you that extra boost uh now you can still use essentially the same loadout you don't have to change much um i believe let's see uh where do you have a character for okay yeah this character locked and loaded so you could have locked and loaded as well instead of uh waste not want i just picked first assault because I don't know how my mouse was closer I guess but <laughs> but you could pick this character and on top of having that 100% crit for the three shots that um first assault gives you you could have a uh, 15% increase in damage for five seconds so after reloading it's in there after reloading like uh Things. So I kind of want to try that as well. And then we'll just run into. And then we'll run into a 160. I want to do another fire one. Um, just because it's the element that is worse off against. I guess you could say. The weapon is worse off against these enemies. And that's always a good indicator of how good it will be if you could take down enemies that it's weak against. Well, that are more resistant to the weapon, I would say. Then it probably is a good chance of being decent. I know you're not always going to go against fire enemies. And you could be pretty selective with how, uh, how you want to use your weapon. Like in this case, you just use an energy weapon or use a water weapon. You know? But, um, 
sometimes you have a favorite gun that you want to use all the time. And if this ends up being it, then, you know, this video at least could uh, let you know how good it would be against them. And or how hard it would be for you to complete a mission if you're doing it solo. If you're not doing it solo, then you don't have to worry too much about um, how much damage you're doing necessarily with a weapon. Because there's other factors, right? How much damage your teammate's doing, how much damage the traps are doing, such such and such but uh yeah i hope this video is a little helpful I'm also getting like really bad frames Ooh. or really bad packet loss ping okay. oh it's also Crazy and accurate. I thought he wanted to be my friend. Wow. What is the lag today? Yeah, I wouldn't use this gun right off the bat. What I would think you would need for this gun is probably a fire rate. I'm not sure reload speed, but this one I think does have reload speed. No, it doesn't. Okay, yeah. So far, this is. So far, it's not doing well, in my opinion. You know, this is like a. This is like the SMG. You essentially just want to spray the hell down on the enemies since it's inaccurate otherwise. Or well, not necessarily inaccurate otherwise. But... And the cooldown went off. Oh, he's really trying to kill me. But, um. As you can see, when I kill the mist monster. The the perk activated weapons perk activated. It didn't activate for super long, but um, like I said in the last video, if you have the eliminate four enemies in uh, I guess quick succession, you would say in like what was it? Kill four enemies in like less than ten seconds. I think it was. Then uh, your skill pops. Uh, if you would prefer that instead of trying to hunt down a mist monster since it's not always uh, mist monsters in the case of uh, I mean they're mist monsters obviously there's a lot of them all the time but um, unless you're putting traps down like uh, you know in tandem with uh, let's say your constructor or your base builder then you won't really be getting the the uh, the perk that pops and you won't be doing as much damage but um, by itself if you try to do let's say uh, an encampment by yourself that's probably not gonna happen very well it's not gonna go down very nicely now at a distance it's not super great because you can't you can't necessarily spray them with a tight spread like with other ARs this one has a wide spread so it's going to be one of those weapons that you probably have to get up in their face with which is good and bad which means you might want a magazine size a fire rate and maybe uh, a crit damage or something because this is not too good so far I know it is against the enemy that it's gonna be doing less damage to like this guy got one shot it but at the same time they're french fry guys little thing guys they don't um they die pretty quickly but I want to test it against one of those big guys but they're all those things on them that are annoying as hell I'm gonna kill him. Try to use it on my dad anyway. <laughs> okay, and 
There's the animals won't attack you when you have this, so it's not it's not a huge deal. See so look. I think the only ones that are scared of me are frogs. Nope. Even the frogs like me. They had a tighter spread. Uh, like other ARs, like the Seed Breaker or the Wrath, the Wraith, whichever you pronounce it, then uh, that would be really cool. This fire rate isn't super fast like those guns, but um, it feels like the type of gun that should hit harder. Not necessarily to enemies that it's you know having trouble against, like the fire ones, but uh, just in general, it should do a little more. Maybe it could. Maybe it could be a little more. But yeah, it's definitely not a good one to use in crowds, even though it seems like it's probably the way to use it. Too much crit damage, right? I'll put another crit damage brick on it. So it's it's giving us 410, 38 chance. I'm thinking maybe maybe we swap some stuff out and try it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and Swap the perks around and then jump into a mission, and you'll see me again when I'm in a mission. Okay, well, we're back. I crouched up on the roof just so I don't get attacked by animals. But, uh, let's see. Check out the perks on this one. This one now I changed to fire rate headshot, left crit damage, and left the stun staggered. I also left the mist monster elimination. Um... I have been toying with the idea of more damage to, it, sorry, more damage that are above 80% to enemies, I think it is, I think it's like, uh, if I remember correctly, it was like 35 damage to enemies that are 80 and above, 80% of health and above, but uh, I kind of forgot now that I think about it, but that's fine, I'm going to try this version out, see how it goes, if it's better, if it's worse. I can still change the perks around and all the first stuff to change it. This one is essentially just faster fire rate. Same crit damage, faster fire rate. I thought I was I was an outlander. How much damage is that? 20,000? Even though it does have a faster fire rate, it doesn't seem like I'm hitting the crits as often, but that makes sense since I took off the crit rating. I am starting to one shot on this. I'm not an outlander. I tried to. I try to rush away from now, Andrew. I'm dead. <clears throat> I tried to face shift out like I was an Outlander, but that didn't work. <sighs> okay, well. And I also changed some heroes around. So I put uh, Waste Not Want instead of uh, the Locked and Loader, I think it was, for reload damage for a couple of seconds. <laughs> I did put on headshot damage, so I should be trying to aim for the head areas. And put headshot damage on because if you're spraying, kind of like how I am, and you know you have that chance already of getting headshots. 
for having, having your uh, kind of reticle up in that area already. Probably gonna help you get a lot more. I'm gonna die here for the cowboys. Yeah, it's not one of those guns that you want to shoot like a normal AR because the spread is so wide. It's it's one of the ARs you kind of want to mow enemies down with at like a like a close to mid range. Mid range is like a, a mid range is a reach, right? Because as soon as you start shooting, what would you consider mid range? Maybe here. It's like horribly inaccurate, and then I would consider maybe this like close range. Let's see, it's they're almost all essentially close range weapons, minus the uh, the shotgun, since the shotgun has a bit of distance. The pistol's got a bit of distance as well, but I wouldn't say maybe more than the shotgun actually, but not as useful as a shotgun at certain distances this gun no distance only mid only mid range i would say here maybe as well it's probably mid range then after that you're just too horribly inaccurate to even try it let me see if i can find some group of enemies and give you a bit of an example of the mid range type should we go for that taker yeah, I think we should go for that ticker. Alright, mid range, I would say, would be here. There's two in back. Yeah, that's still not too good. But it killed it. Since I have the first part. Which doesn't really matter in this case. Headshots do matter more. I want to do a lot more damage with headshots than just focus the face. I can hit a headshot crit and be perfect. Oh, I gotta reload. That sucks. He's gonna shoot me in the head. Okay, but headshot crits for this one are good. I would say they're good. If. If you were to land more crits like that for the same value of damage that you do for a headshot, then it would be a good weapon. But because you, you can't, because of not only how inaccurate it is, but because you're only really going to rely on headshots, headshot damage is one of the perks you probably have to keep on there. Kind of like the pistol. Uh, I could change the perks again. And this time... I might change that crit damage. I don't know what I would change the crit damage to. Probably have to figure it out in a little bit. But uh, I'll leave and I'll go to the. I'll leave. I'll leave and I'll show you the schematics of it. All right, we're in the schematic view. So, now, I could just add another headshot damage. That'd be kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> should I add a second headshot damage? Why are we headshot damage, headshot damage? And I think, man. Okay, screw it. Do another headshot damage, do damage to miss monsters. Okay, it's tar damage 30 plus to 85 and above. Okay. Should we say screw it? Yeah, screw it. Screw it. I need more of those. Uh, I forget what they're called all the time. Core Reaper. There you go. I said it earlier, I know, but even when I said it, I wasn't. Oh, I'm adventurous. <laughs> when I said it, I wasn't really sure. So, we'll craft the. I mean, we'll craft it. Yeah, we're going to craft it, but. I'm going to scrap the first generation of Prime Rifle that I got. So I can compare it to the next version I get. 
So DPS shows the same. Headshot damage went higher. 48k. And on a crit, I would hope it does really good, but uh only time will tell. So I'll jump in a mission. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back once again. Uh I, I crouch because my recording is C and I play with the controller, so so again that's why I crouch when it cuts to uh these parts of the video. Okay, so the new one hopefully will be nuts. I could put a crit rating instead of that fire rate. And I should get you know kind of good damage from that. But you never know until you know. So let me try this. That feels like it did worse than the previous one. Hopefully I'm not hitting crits like I was previously. I'm trying not to get smacked by those guys. Who knows? Dodge him. Smoke him. Okay, I think I think headshot damage is gonna be the way to go. I think I'm not gonna have to go for them. Wave. Uh, excuse me, game. Pretty sure you guys see me matching, but he like fell on me, so it didn't really work. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try to add the. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna add the crit rating onto it, and then I'll be back. So I'll see you guys in a second again. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see, uh, so with the new version, I changed it again, but instead of fire rate, um, I don't know if you know, this one, this second one had a fire rate instead of a crit, and the original one, I believe, had a damage in that spot and a crit, so I was thinking maybe we go for headshot crits, so that's the kind of... Thing we try to go for or at least I will try to go for I guess in this video to see if it uh, if it's something that would work even I know that the headshot crit is probably gonna, it's obviously gonna do more I'm not trying to say but what I think is it might be better than the previous one I was okay, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I mean, the gun is good. But... The gun is good. I'll say that. I know it's not. But I'm trying to see what will make it better. Fire rate helped a little bit, but. Doesn't help a lot. These guys just melt. The other guys just die. These guys don't die. Or at least not that easily. Ooh, they just spray their face and clean their head most of the time. But it's not like they die as easy anyway. Okay, what enemies over here? See, those ones just melt. They they just die. Which is good. Like I said, if you're not if you're not fighting fire enemies, then I guess this would be a good weapon. They're a little choppy. Maybe I am. But even with that uh, last perk change, doing more damage to enemies that are 85 or higher. This guy is already less than 85, I would say, so that perk isn't doing shit right now. Which is the only reason I don't like putting that perk on. And unless you have a high damage weapon, that perk isn't going to do much more damage. It's, it's going to screw you over and you're wasting that last perk. This guy, you can just pop, pop, pop. You can two-shot them anyway, more than likely, but I was trying to one-shot them. Is the issue, and it didn't. It, it didn't one-shot them. But because enemies like those French right characters 
are super easy to kill. You just kill them in one shot like that. See? So, you're not fighting any other character. That guy didn't die. Maybe distance has a play? I'm sure it does. Oh, hello. I'm gonna shoot at you. Okay, that wasn't played out very well, but it still smacked me. It's kind of funny. I love that smack. He's destroying the floor. What's this room here? When the force comes to worse, you just. I'm gonna get my buff. I'm gonna kill everyone else with the buff. I don't have to get hit by those guys. The little fire afflictions were really best damage. Oh, he didn't get in. But I'm fast. Oh, I'm gonna kill the next one. So Even there, it's not that good. Oh, I think I shot him. I must have shot him. Where's... Isn't there another cowboy somewhere? I mean, reloading before a shot will probably also give you a good, uh, a, a crit shot, since I have the character that does that. Where's this lady at? Right here? No? What the hell? Oh, underneath. That makes sense. It's melting everyone else, but when I shot her. Better hurt another one. Okay, but you seen how it was melting the other guys, the little French fry guys. Now if you go to a uh, if you go to a storm that's water and you take this gun, I'm pretty sure most of the guns Especially the shotgun would probably be really good. I'm thinking it'd probably be really good to get smashed as well, that shotgun. It's a high damage auto shotgun. Like, no recoil. Controllable recoil. Very, very controllable. Oh, let's see how it does. That's not a real... Oh, it is. I didn't really want it, but I thought it was a mimic. They usually spawn there. Yo, can we just take fall damage? I think he took fall damage. Okay, let's go for that taker. See how fast it kills that. The takers are essentially all head. Okay, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Only used too far is what I mean. Yep, I died. Too late. I pushed the, the adrenaline rush, <laughs> but he hit me as soon as it happened, so it didn't work out. And I got a spawn and it's and it spawn. Okay. Oh, let's try the healer. I need to close the distance though, because this is not a uh, <clears throat> not a ranged weapon, even though it's it's a ranged weapon. I just need like a 240. He slapped me on the way down. I 
I mean, aviation kind of helps. The problem when you are this close. I don't know if there's perks I could put on it to make it good, but I mean, it's a whole different story in a water zone or, a, you know, a physical zone, you could say. Enem uh, enemies with no element on them. It's a whole different story when they're, you know, like that. This one is just like worst case scenario, how much damage you could do, which is probably not doing it the best of justice, but. At the same time, at least for me, I want the weapons I use to be like pretty all around, right? Um, guns that I don't normally use, I use them like for easy stuff. Like the AR, the uh, Mythic AR, I use that for easy stuff. Uh, sword, I use for easy stuff. It's kind of one of the fun weapons I have. The other one, the Fury Edge, easy stuff. It's not like I use them regularly or, you know, make builds to use them regularly. I did before with the Killjoy's well. Killjoy's weapon, you can uh, heavy attack and spin continuously. So there's a spin build for that, as I call it. Or an infinite energy build, you could say. But, um, yeah, this weapon, it's not the best. In this zone, you know, in other zones, it could be better. Just like with the other weapons, it could be better. But, um... I think maybe... I think maybe this one was probably the better of them. This fire rate headshot, crit damage... Might have been a little better than this one. Since the fire rate double headshot... Kind of really flopped. Since it hit no crits, really. And then there's this one, which is just crit rating, crit damage, headshot, which is in hopes of getting headshot crits, which is kind of off because you can't always do that, especially with the um, the spread, the bullet pattern, the spread. It's not the best to have, so I'm kind of defaulting on this one. Yeah, I'm kind of defaulting on this one, so, um, yeah, I think this one's probably the better of them, but, uh, yeah, that, that is going to have to be it for this video. Obviously, you can try the guns out for yourself and figure out what works. Uh, this is kind of just my opinion on what is the best perks for it, and, uh, yeah, but <laughs> that's going to be it for this one. Uh. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.